Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I would really appreciate it. What I want to talk about right now are ceramic capacitors. I'm thinking about getting into the gold and silver recovery of electronic components, which, by the way, I have quite a few. I've been collecting them over the years. And below are some of the ceramic capacitors that I have been collecting. I've seen some videos where some folks think there's a gold or silver in particular co uh, components, but in reality there isn't. However, with ceramic capacitors, there's a really, really good chance that there is silver inside. Now, I don't know how much the yields are. <clears throat> However, I do know that there are silver in these capacitors. So I want to go through a couple of them <clears throat> that I've collected over the uh, years. And the first one is uh, a smaller, older ceramic capacitor. You can see the surface area is not that great. Um, and just to talk about the actual components of a ceramic capacitor, you've got the protective coating on the outside, you've got the ceramic disc on the inside, which I'm not showing, can't see it, and then you've got the silver coating on the actual ceramic disc, and then you've got the electrode coming out. So once again, there's a smaller 500 picofarad capacitor, not a lot of surface area because it's a small, uh, it's small in capacitance. The next one is a blue type safety cap. You'll see them inside power supplies. Uh, they're, they're not bad actually. When you look at it, you can see a bit of, well, there's a lot of silver there and there is a silver underneath the, the coating, the protective coating. I just couldn't crack it open enough. The next one is a black type capacitor. Again, you'll see these in power supplies. And same thing, there's silver coating inside. And here are some yellow capacitors. They're also safety type caps and they're in power supplies and other parts of uh, electrical circuit boards. And you can see some silver in there too. This one here is an older disc capacitor, probably from the 70s, maybe early 80s. And I've cracked that open and you can see some silver there at the bottom. So overall, if you are looking for recovery of silver from ceramic capacitors, I think you're going to probably be okay by putting everything in there. I don't know the yields, um, but I do know there is some silver in these disc capacitors. I think there's some other channels out there that they've actually processed um, some of the ceramic capacitors. So if you want to get a yield, just look for a video out there. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for some other capa uh, capacitor videos. Bye for now.